of the negative points that current policies follow the Second Amendment, which um, protects individual rights. But um, the Second Amendment does not protect the usage of like all guns. And uh, in the 2008 um, um, Supreme Court decision of District of Columbia versus Heller, they state that like most rights, the Second Amendment right is not unlimited. It is not a right to keep and carry any weapon whatsoever <coughs> in any manner um, for whatever purpose, prohibiting the carrying of dangerous and unusual weapons. So that leaves the, um, the regulation for guns open for Congress. And also like the First Amendment, which is the freedom of speech, it does not guarantee full freedom. You can't go around yelling fire in public um, locations just because you want to. Um, the negative also claims that assault weapons do not commit all crimes and that most crimes are committed with guns. Um, but according to the relationships between gun ownership and firearm, firearm homicide, a survey taken by um, taken in 2013, I mean 2010, they state that gun ownership was a significant um, predictor of firearm homicide rates. So pretty much for um, every raise and percentage and increase in gun ownership, the firearm homicide rate increased by 0.9% in these states. Also, Also, um, in states where guns are usually owned, the crime rates do not go down, they actually go up, and you cannot correlate the, the um, relationship of the increase in guns to the decrease in crimes, because the negative side does not um, provide any proof of that as well. They also claim that the um, they also claim that reasonable, responsible, and knowledgeable gun owners do not use guns for the wrongdoing. But um, but Marlin Scott um, states that all he given these combined statistics that nearly half of gun owners say they keep weapons because it makes them feel safer a proportion that has increased dramatically since 1999, even though violent crimes have decreased over time. Um, I would also like to introduce a new claim um, that the current policies allow modification of assault weapons, the Feinstein Bill. Um, the Feinstein Bill bans weapons that are able to be modified with bump stocks, pistol grips, forward grips, and ad additional magazines to the already high capacity magazines. First, um, through the use of bump stocks, it will lead to a higher depth toll in mass shootings. Secondly, that current policies allow additional, the addition of, large, of larger magazines to the already high capacity assault weapons. So first, the use of bump stocks will lead to a higher death toll in mass shootings. Um, like my um, partner claimed, I mean stated that 400 to 800 rounds are shot per minute with bump stocks instead of the regular 45 to 60 um, rounds per minute. In the Las Vegas mass shooting recently, um, the shooter fired up to 90 rounds in 10 seconds according to an analysis video that was released and was analyzed by New York, New York Times. In comparison, an automatic weapon fired at 98 rounds in seven seconds. So the bump stock shot nine, 
nine rounds per second versus automatic weapons of 14 rounds per second. Um, the use of bomb stocks was a, was a common modification for guns used in the deadliest mass shooting. Um, 58 people were killed and more than 500 were wounded in the crowd when a crowd of 22,000 people were fired at. So um, bump stocks was found in 12 of the 23 guns um, in the Las Vegas gunman's um, hotel room. So this kind of um, shows the, the devastation that bump stocks has on, on um, in mass shootings. You could also look at the outright ban of automatic weapons as an example. How many automatic weapons have been used in mass shootings? Since 1986, the year that the ban of purchase of new automatic weapons took place, there's, there has been no instances where automatic weapons have been used in mass shootings. Um, finally, current policies allow the, the addition of larger magazines to the already high capacity assault weapons. Um, higher capacity magazines allow gunmen to kill more individuals in mass shootings at a higher rate. For example, the shooter in Aurora, Colorado, movie theater had a 100 round magazine on his guns and 12 people were killed with 58 injured. The Tuxedo um, Massacre is a good example of when um, a lower rate magazine could have saved more lives because in this shooting, while the shooter was trying to reload his weapon, he was tackled by, um, by civilians that were being shot at and um, that saved more lives. Um, so the bill bans weapons that allow the use of um, larger magazines, especially since semi-automatics already have high capacity magazines. So you could extend these magazines instead of shooting 30 rounds, they'll shoot 70 to 100 rounds. Um, so overall, the Feinstein bill will decrease the number of modified weapons and use in mass shootings.